Hey everybody, it's Party Lead back with some more Party Tech action today. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. We're going to have an awesome time today, I hope, as we put the awesome to work in what will probably be one of the most awesome missions we have been on. If I hop into the contracts over here, you'll see we are going to dive in on this Four Skull <laughs> desert-based battle mission. It's not going to be an easy one. Almost guaranteed a million plus to be made. And the thing is, what I'm actually doing to my awesome might not be the best fit for the mission coming up. But hey, that's 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 uh that's that's fun, right? What's what's life without risks? Question mark. So we are putting in now this build was recommended in the comments. It sounds pretty interesting. Uh, I'd like to give it a shot. Basically, we've got a lot of lasers, we've got some jump jets in there, we've got some LRMs, and we've got an L laser as well. So we have ability from long range. When we close the gap and we've got our M lasers and LRMs still firing, and then we really close the gap when we're burning up to use melee to cause a lot of melee damage, and then we've got uh, some S lasers as well. I believe we've got three S lasers, so that will be about 180 damage if we go into melee and, and make contact with everything. So that should be fun. And then we've got uh, everybody else is just kind of being repaired, I believe, minor repair work and stuff like that. We have to change things up a little bit. I want to make sure the catapult gets done before the griffin. And my thinking is, my thinking is that for this mission, we're going to go in with the Awesome, the Orion, the Kintaro, and the Catapult. And we're actually going to take Trouble in, and Decker is going to be missing out on this mission because I don't think there's room for somebody with just Sensor Lock. I think. I think. I mean, well, actually, let's take a quick look at Decker. Because what I did do for Decker Standing by. is I, uh, I popped up his tactics a little bit to improve his indirect fire penalty. Receiving you. We've got Bulwark here, which is very tempting, but with the Awesome being so slow, I wonder if Decker and his piloting skills might not... You know what? You know what? I think Decker deserves this, like, mini promotion. So we're gonna let him... We're gonna let him pilot the Awesome for this mission, take a huge risk, but, uh, it'll be okay. It'll be fine. <laughs> I hope. Right, we're gonna bump our thing up to Extravagant. We can afford it. Let's do that. And we should also take a look at some upgrades for the Argo. I don't, I, I fear dropping below 2 million, so let's try and stay above that at the very least. So that's the awesome done. That work order is complete, boss. Cool. Top and top work, if I may say so. let's take a look at the upgrades. What options do we have here? Um, I wouldn't mind getting more medical points. Wow, almost costs a million. This does what? Helps morale. Needs the beta pod, though. Everything needs the beta pod. What about you? You need mech bay 3. How much does mech bay 3 cost? Oh god no. Ooh. But, but, oh god no, 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 we can't do that right now. Training modules, we can do this. Gain 30 experience per day. But we need beta pod for this as well. Alright, so, beta pod. Is that, I'm guessing, with the B? 900, oh my god. That's a lot. I don't know if I want to spend that much, to be perfectly honest. Not right now. Kind of wish we hadn't gone for the extravagant salary package. We could do this. Save us some time, I suppose. Damn. Wow, really being held back here by the by the beta pod. I mean, we might as well... Might as well, we're gonna make money off the next mission, so we'll buy it. Worst case scenario, we'll sell some things. We've got plenty of junk we can sell. Um... Damn. Not the biggest fan of that. What can we sell? What can we sell? Should look at what I can buy. Alright, uh, we've got the Enforcer we can sell, and the Vindicator as well. And lots of equipment as well, of, of course. Alright, you know what? I don't feel so bad about the money situation. Let's hit that play button and get a little bit further on. Trouble's gonna be ready for action. Maybe we do actually take Trouble in instead. Now, you know what? After working for us for so long, I think Decker deserves the glory, right? I'm just worried it's how he's gonna go out. We got 15 days to make money for the next financial statement. Let's dive into hot landing. It's gonna be it's gonna be rough. I'm gonna be honest. I know it's gonna be rough because we're going in heavily with lasers and lots of heat inefficient mechs. But uh, let's see if we can't figure this out, right? The challenge will be worth it. So satellite surveillance pictures show that a heavy lance was inserted onto the planet's surface by a directorate dropship. Currently, we believe they're securing their LZ, preparing for whatever operation they have planned. Before they finish securing the area, we'd like you to interrupt them 
They're heavily armed, so expect strong resistance. All right, we're definitely going to go salvage heavy here. If they just set down, they may not be battle ready. We might catch them with their metaphorical pants down. My favorite way to catch an enemy mech. All right, let's go heavy on the salvage, accept that, and are we doing this? Are we really putting Decker in the awesome here? Like, someone like Trouble's kind of built for it. She's got Bulwark, she's got Multi. She'll be slow. You know what? Decker's an all-around better pilot. It's just his, uh, his, his specialties here aren't really matched up. Hmm. Party Elite's going first. We could swap these around, so at least Decker's in the Kentaro. But no, no, no. I want the speed that Decker will afford. All right, fine. Let's do this. What is life without risks? Let's roll out. All right, this is the one. This is it. This is where we lose Decker, isn't it? <laughs> this is the one. All right. This is where the satellite pictures showed the hostile lance touching down. Move up and make contact. Let's see what we're dealing with. Expect serious resistance. Oliveira out. All right, sounds good. This whole planet could use an air conditioner. Yeah, it could use an air conditioner, couldn't it? Let's see if we can't find something to keep us cool. I don't see a lot of buildings over here. This is where the enemy is. Some high ground we can take advantage of if we kind of circumvent this way. Ah, vent. Um, and I also saw some high ground over here, but I don't think we can get up to it without jump jets. So that just leaves, what, Decker and Glitch able to get up over here? Push up this way, take these trees for cover. Come around this way, I suppose. There's a point. Or we just... I'm going down the middle here. In, in in a battle, four skulls going down the middle here just seems like bait. You know what I mean? It just seems like bait. I say we go... Sure, let's go down the middle and up top over here. See if we can't, like, get a flank going on or something. So, glitch. I jump you right from the start? No, well, let's sprint up first. We'll jump up to, like, this area or something. No need jumping here, and then... Yeah, yeah. So let's sprint up to here. All right, and as we set up for this, I just want to mention really quickly, as always, guys, uh, yes, if you have been enjoying this series, make sure to let me know uh, with a like and a comment. It does make a very big difference. Um, as many of you will have already noticed, we're getting two episodes of Battletech a day now, and that wouldn't happen if... Uh, if you guys hadn't said so in the comments and if you guys hadn't given me the confidence that uh, it, it would be, you know, worth the time and effort it takes for the channel as a whole. Because I do, as much as I enjoy gaming and the comments and everything, I do also have to consider, uh, you know, long-term plans for the channel itself. Uh, so your dedication like that really helps me make decisions a lot more easily. So I appreciate it. And uh, if you if you do want to see more, like and comment. Um, and if you, if you really want to see a lot more, then uh, check out our Patreon. But, um, yeah, no, in all, in all seriousness, likes and comments make a very big difference. And we can't clear this. I want to clear up to the trees immediately next turn. So let's jump on up to here. Right? Ready, set. What do we see? Ah, see, I had a feeling. I've got something on my sensors. 75 tons? Okay. Wish I had jump jets on everything. Let's get Behemoth moving up. Roger that. Let's get this awesome jumping up to here. And Party Elite. We can sprint all the way up to here. I don't know if I want to, though. Like, I can set up a bit of a... If, if we draw them towards us, I can set up a bit of a kill box of my own. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Alright, let's... uh, Let's sprint up. Let's fine. Let's sprint up to here. At least get vision. Let me see what the hell's going on, or do I just draw aggro from everybody that I haven't seen yet? Because it's not just going to be one mech. Alright, party leads a boss. He's a leader. He leads from the front. What do we have? Oh dear, I don't like that. Wait, how much was it? I'm picking up a new Is that 80? Trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. 80 tons. Oh my god. 80 tons. I don't like that at all. I say we reserve Party Elite for now. He's got a lot of evasive pips. Reserve you. 75 tons. 60 tons. 80 tons. I'm almost more concerned about this vehicle than I am about uh, anything else. Let's reserve again. Because I was given some warnings in the comments about the types of vehicles we'll be facing. Oh. 
Lover Girl. So they're both... Well, either they reserved or they're down at two. Okay. Ready for orders. Decker can jump up and expose himself. Cool. Not get any shots. Glitch can go. jump up and expose herself and get a couple of shots over here. I do want to work that vehicle first. I'm almost tempted to reserve again and just let them get closer to me. You know what I mean? Well, not reserve, but, but call done. We've got evasive pips. We've got guarded and all. I could pull Party Leap back. Or I could sprint him even further and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this. A 60-tonner? Let's go up here. Give us the high ground against everything else. Pull back a little bit. That scares me. <laughs> I was told about, like... LRM, like, boat-type vehicles. I was told about, like, double AC-20 vehicles. I, I don't want any of that. Wait, they have something down here as well. Was that the vehicle? What else do we Commander. Move? Guess I could move Decker. Ooh, I can move up to here. Should be less exposed, I think. And at least it'll give me vision, and it'll get me a little bit closer. Sure, let's jump it. Need to watch my heat levels. Can't see anything, but we can brace. That's the vehicle, okay. Damn it, I should have waited for the vehicle before I moved Decker. Glitch, that Wait, should be close enough to hit with our LRMs. It is. Pull down a here. Take cover, cover's probably not a bad idea. Three evasive pips and cover. Is the best we can do, okay. I hope this thing doesn't cause too much damage, whatever it is. Hope that thing doesn't cause too much damage, whatever it is. Ooh, I can't alpha it. Oh, I can't alpha it either way. Half of me is tempted to not do this. Until it gets a little bit closer. Because unless that's an LRM boat... Or an LRM vehicle... Yeah, you know what? Fine. Fine. Patience is... It's four skulls, guys. Sounds smart. <laughs> four skulls. <laughs> Let's take it easy. Let's take it easy. Oh my god, there's two of them. There's work to do! There's two of them. Okay. I could stay put, get myself, um... No, well, let's reserve for now. We've got the evasive pips, we've got cover. Let's reserve, let's see what the AI does first. 60 tonner moving in closer, and you're what? You're a 60 tonner as well. Quick draw. Okay. Okay. Mmm. Do I reserve all the way to turn, like, one, and then... And then move, perhaps. Uh -huh. What are you? You're missing, that's what you are. Okay, good. We're off to a good start. Was that 65 tons? Oh no, what's this? Is it like two AC5s and an LRM 10 or 15 or something? I'm trying to learn how to recognize these. Okay, we got a dragon up in here. Oh, this Kentaro is not having a good time. That's not so hot. Well, I'm glad that that AC-20 missed. That was almost certainly an AC-20. From the sounds of it. They got... I guess it's these two vehicles that are uh, one. Okay, so Party Elite, you gotta move. You gotta, like, do something here, buddy. Uh, we could get you moving up this way, firing into the side of the dragon with everything, getting further away from all these things, hoping to survive. Sounds like a good idea. We could do that. We could pop Vigilance. Get us braced. Do I want to move closer? No, I don't want to move closer. We could move up to where? Oh, I'm looking if I can get three evasive pips anywhere. Anywhere good. All right, let's move up to here. Go here, Vigilance, and then we'll fire away. I was hoping to save Vigilance for Decker, actually. Alright. Um, yeah, pop this. Alright. Get rid of all that stability damage. And return it to the dragon. Oh, 
look at that. Would you look at that? I don't really want a dragon after what you guys said in the comments, especially that's not really worth it. But uh, I do want to get it off the field. What the hell fired those? Was that the vehicle? Or is, that, is there another mech? Alright. Receiving you. Decker. Can't get close enough. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. I thought I thought I saw it. Uh, I could try popping shots at this dragon. I could wait until the vehicles move maybe closer. Again, 80 ton vehicles. Waiting for orders. Glitch can roll on up. Or you know what? Fine, Behemoth. Let's get you moving on up. Let's get you sprinting, perhaps, for the extra evasive pip. Right, let's get you up here, or do we move you and not get any shots in anyway? Oh, God. Terrible call. But I want to get her into a position where she can use Bulwark. Again, I don't have... So from what I'm understanding from the, uh, the updates, the dev diaries and stuff... Apparently, Bulwark has changed. Now it's you? supposed to only... Well, I forget the changes now, but i it looks like I still have the old Bulwark. So, uh, yeah, cool. That works for me. Wait, why... What's going on here? Should be able to hit it with everything, right? Looks like it. Yeah, we should be able to hit that with everything. Take cover from the trees. Hopefully this thing only has direct fire weapons and can't see me through that building. This quick draw... Um, won't be that much trouble for Glitch. So yeah, let's jump up over here and see what this vehicle is and take care of it right away because it's an 80-tonner, so it's got to be deadly. That's my logic here. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. We weren't that far off. What are we looking at? We're looking at its left side. We might be able to cause enough damage actually to destroy it in one alpha strike. Let's hope so, because I don't want to see that in action, and I can only assume that that's the same thing. So, stakes are up a little bit now. Come on. Okay, structure exposed. Good start. Yeah, they are the same thing, huh? What do you know? Standing by. What do you know? All right, uh, Decker, you can fire from where you are right now. You'll be safe. Um, we could jump in. Because, again, we want to close the gap with this thing. We want to be able to uh, use it in melee. So, sure, let's jump up over here. Get the uh, forest for cover. Fire on the demolisher and hopefully finish it off. Hmm. Yeah, and then the Orion can try and take care of this one. I think that makes sense. Let's go in. Let's, go. let's be very careful about heat here. Come on. One good hit on the front, and we're good. Come on. Nice. Oh my god, thank god. I don't want to see double AC-20s hitting me. Ever. Ever. Alright, let's pop shots over here. Stay put for the bulwark. Wondering if I want to, like, precision strike or something to reduce its initiative. Nah, probably not worth it. Let's attack from this side. We might get that leg. We might knock it down. Let's go, though. Got the arm. And the leg. And the torso piece. So knockdown damage, side torso damage, like pilot injuries, I mean. That's good. Initiative dropped. Good stuff. Best way to drop initiative, rather than precision strike, is to just knock a mech down. Alright, alright, what's up? I hear ya. You want to hit this demolisher with glitch? You want to jump closer? I don't think it'll be. Oh, it will be an alpha strike range. It's a bit of a risk. Don't want this to be able to see us. Only two evasive pips. Three if we go here. I think I'd rather stay hidden and fire at this thing. Okay, let's jump. Get rid of that damn vehicle. Overheat alert. Next turn, I guess Glitch is going to have to stay put.
right. Fair bit of damage happening. A hundred tons? They've got a lock on me. What is that mech? Waiting for orders. Oh dear, this could go terribly. This could go terribly. You are almost taken care of. Almost. So Behemoth Commander. could in theory do this. Get over here, try to destroy the dragon right now. Quick draw is a little scary. Ready for orders. So we could fire on the demolisher and the dragon here. And in fact the quick draw as well. Do I want a quick draw? I don't think so. Alright. Let's uh let's move up and do some quick math. I'm wondering if I want to do uh pop vigilance on on Behemoth here. Just to give her yeah, you know what? She doesn't have enough evasive pips, so let's give her the uh the bracing at least. Guarded. Um yeah, vigilance, confirm that. Now, multi. You're guarded. So the quick draw will only get hit by the AC 20 plus plus. You will get hit by the two M lasers for 50 damage. Is that enough? I don't think I have the confidence in that being enough. So let's do that, and then oh, uh, double AC 20. That's terrifying. That's that's 240 damage. That's terrifying. Let's do this. Multiple targets. Nice. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Die, 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 die. All my eggs in one basket there. Ooh, a Jaeger mech. For a building, apparently. Okay. And an Orion. Okay. I could I could use these mechs. I could use these mechs. Decker, you're up. Waiting for orders. Not too hot. Not too hot. Um I'm wondering which way I want to go. Again, I'd like to take care of this demolisher. It is up next. It seems like such a waste. Seems like such a waste, but... If both of those AC-20s land... Alright, well, let's jump on over to... Here. Get ourselves as close as possible so we can start punching, right? Kind of wish I had uh, trouble here with multi. But hey, it's not the decision we made, so this is the decision we have to live with. We're fine. We're fine. I just need to cause 16 damage. Surely I don't need to fire the L laser. You know what? It's not going to cause me that much heat. Let's do it. Better safe than sorry. Oh my god, what the hell was that shot? I mean, good job, Decker, but what the hell was that shot? <laughs> I should have just turned it off. Alright, the dragon's going to stand up. It's fine. It's fine. Covered. Keeping us safe. 80 tonner. That's a 100 tonner back there. Oof. Gintaro's not liking this. I'm not liking this. Alright, got inspired again, which is good. Party Elite. Uh, we could... Let's try to wreck that CT. I'm gonna overheat if we do this. Wondering if I want to move here for the cover. Ah. Uh, reduced hit chances. I don't like that. We could move back a little bit to get a better distance. Pop vigilance again. I don't think we'll need. Ah, oh, man. The other option is to stay put and get guarded. They will start stripping away my armor soon if they keep focusing in like they have been doing. Clearly, they have some long range capabilities back here move up here for the evasive pips and then use vigilance to give me guarded. You know what? That might actually be the better call. Rather than falling back for one or two pips. Oh, man. Let's try it. Let's try it, because I want to keep the Kintaro involved. That's a lot of missiles. That's a lot of stability damage output that we'd be sacrificing or delaying otherwise. So let's do this. Alright, pop vigilance. I also want to see what the hell these mechs are sooner rather than later. Okay, confirm that. Fire away. Overheat alert, so let's turn. A little bit of overheating is not going to kill me. We need to drop this mech. I'm going to go ahead and say that was totally worth it. And that that wasn't overkill. Just a little bit of structural damage. It's not the end of the world. 
All right, the quick draw is rolling in towards what? I don't like this. Okay, okay, we're okay. We're okay. Behemoth, you're up. Good to go. Um, and we could, let's see. It's a lot of evasive pips there, a couple of evasive pips here. Wouldn't mind another Orion, really. Do I want to move up there, though? I can't, oh, I can hit something from here. Only 65% hit chances. Not the best. Maybe I prefer moving and popping, uh, Vigilance. Worried about these things. Sixty-five percent hit chances. Unless I'm here. Well, sure, let's close the gaps here. So fine. Behemoth, let's move you up. Pop vigilance out. again. I was again hoping to kinda hold it back for Decker, but it's okay. Okay, we're gonna get the drop on all of them. Right? Now I could no, there's no point in multi targeting here. Let's try and get this Orion. Hit it with everything, then we close the gap and try to get a get a get a good melee strike in there. So yeah, far away. Copy that. Nice. Ooh, very nice. I like that. Boom. There we go. Pilot injury. Take that. And now glitch is up. Oh, glitch is up after this. What? 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 Huh. Okay. Okay, there's a king crab for the taking. That's one way to look Good at it. Go. I feel like it was just this week. Just this week that we were all talking about king crabs. Like, that I was talking about wanting king crabs for my, uh... For my lance. Um, hmm. Okay. This is interesting. How do we approach this? I could fire at the Orion here. Heat up a little bit. Right? Turn one of these off. Yeah, I think I need to work on destroying something here, rather than just ducking. We've got Bulwark. Fire away. Here we go! Okay, uh, I'm not too concerned about destroying this mech. Um, I want that King Crab, though. Want it. I've forgotten about everything else I'm up against right now. Oh baby, that wasn't so good. Alright, alright, Decker, you're up. You're in that awesome. We're gonna jump you. I think you can jump farther than you can walk, right? Yes, absolutely. So we're gonna jump you, especially for those evasive pips. Let's try and get closer to some of these mechs. What do we try to drop? We can try to drop the Orion here. I could uh, Alpha Strike the Jaeger mech. Well, mostly Alpha Strike, you know what I mean. Or work on the quick draw. Try to drop this quick draw. That King Crab is scary. I mean, do I start working on it right away? That's a lot of M lasers and L lasers, not enough missiles. I want to punch that King Crab. So let's make our way towards it and let's try and get rid of the quick draw first because that's a fair bit of damage output on all those M lasers, I think. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's, uh, let's do that. I don't like the evasion. It is what it is. It is what it is. Can't get into melee this turn. I'm, I'm kind of glad that Decker's in here. At least he's a little bit faster to close gaps. Oh, either you, Quick Draw, or Jaeger Mech. Much better hit chances on that Jaeger Mech. Actually, um, not the worst. Sure, let's work on this Quick Draw. Let's maybe, you know, leg it or something. Come on. Or focus on its uh, torso parts. I mean, that works for me as well. <laughs> or do both. <laughs> Alright, so that's two injuries here. One for the side torso, one for the drop. Drop its initiative. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. That was awesome. Alright. Oh, they've got an awesome of their own. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh dear god, no. Party Elite, you're up. What are we doing, buddy? Are we just gonna run and, uh, and... and brace? Reduce some of our heat? We have to. I don't think I can afford to stay here. 
exposed to all of these elements as they were. I could stay put and fire. No. Everything would burn me up. I, I guess we uh, I guess we brace. Move back into safety and brace. Get two evasive pips this way. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's cool off a little bit. I was eager, but now I see an awesome and a king crab, and I'm a little less eager to venture forth like that. All right, Behemoth, you're up. What's up, boss? Uh, unfortunately, you are unable to punch anything. We could eliminate the quick draw right here, right now, get rid of its, what, 75 damage output potential, or we could work on the Jaeger mech that has much more than 75. Uh, we do have the AC-20 here. We could split our damage output, get the AC-20++ on the King Crab. Not gonna lie, I'm terrified about that King Crab. Um, alternatively, I could work on the Awesome. Nowhere can I stand to take care of both the Quick Draw and the Orion, unfortunately. Receiving you. Oh, no, I could stand here. Bait some aggro. Hmm. Hit the Orion with two M lasers and the SRMs. Hit the Quick Draw with the AC20++ Legget. You know what? Might be worth it. Let's try it, let's try it. And we get closer as well, so we can start going into melee and cool off a little bit. We're gonna pop Vigilance here. Alright, so there's the Vigilance to get us moving sooner next time. And to protect us, then we're gonna multi. You. You. We wanted to do the AC-20 on this. I hope to hit its leg. I forgot that I can't... Uh, Pick a target when I'm multiing, and then everything else hits you. We're going to shut down. All right, so that's not acceptable. So let's turn one of these lasers off. Let's turn two of these lasers off. It is what it is. I copy. Okay. Okay. We're working on it. We're working on it. Wow. Wow. One hit point on that CT one hit point. It should like fall apart as it's marching over to me. God damn it, what a waste. What a waste. God damn it. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Glitch, you're up. Go. What are we gonna do here, Glitch? What are we gonna do here? We try to drop something. Start working on this king crab right now. Do we do we jump you to safety? Do we move you in for Something else? I, I don't know. I don't know. How close are we to losing this mech? Oh, we're okay. We might we might start seeing some structural damage soon, but we're 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 okay. Um, okay. So in that case, we work on the Jaeger mech. We get an alpha strike in there. No, we'll overheat. We'll probably start overheating. Okay, let's multi. So first of all, you. We're gonna hit with a couple M lasers. A couple M lasers. And then you, we're gonna hit with the Mellow Rems. Maybe we get two mechs? I don't know. 56 damage. Uh, oh yeah, okay. We could hypothetically get the Orion. Hypothetically, again. And the Quick Draw, hypothetically, we can get the, the Quick Draw again. We're just trying to be sure here. All right, fire away. Here we go. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, oh thank God. <laughs> and the Orion's next. Ah, damn. Alright, well, we did a fair bit of damage. The catapult's in trouble now. Glitch. Ah. Ah. Wow. Some shrapnel. Wow, that was not how I envisioned that. <laughs> not how I envisioned that at all. Okay, we're gonna beat that Jaeger mech down, hopefully. Here comes the King Crab. Who are you gonna mess with? Crazy. That's that crazy. But that punch got rid of our guarded trait. We're in all kinds of trouble, guys. We're in all kinds of trouble. Decker, in that awesome, you can get into the Jaeger mech, so at least there's that. 
It'll help you cool off, or do we want to alpha strike something? Well, you know, close to alpha. We've got an alpha strike in it, so let's see. How much damage does this do? Uh, 40, 50, so that's 90, 90, 115. 200, okay, so definitely this is better than punching somebody. Uh, do we work on the king crab? The Jaeger mech, like anybody can punch right now. Like, Orion, the, the Orion should probably punch something. Um, goddamn. Um, what do we work on? What do we work on? Good to go. I wish I could get Vigilance on Decker right now, but we can't. Let's perhaps jump closer to the King Crab so we can punch it next turn. Or hit it with everything right now. These LRMs won't be super accurate, but... Ah. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Dear Lord. Come on, Decker. Be the hero we know you are. Be the hero we know you are. Shut down alert. Don't like that. So let's turn these S-lasers off. Alright, if we turn the LRMs off, turn on the S-lasers instead. A little bit of structural damage is in the end of the world right now. Okay, let's do this. Far away. On it. Okay. I'm starting to cook. You're fine, Decker, you're fine. It's catapult though. Glitch isn't fine. We need to hide. We need to get behind something and start. Popping LRMs, all right. Behemoth, you're up, I think. Punch this Jaeger mech right down. The other option is... Punch this Orion and kill it. Potentially. Good to go. But I think Party Elite can take care of the Orion here. If he fires on... No, he'll have to move. But if he moves up to here, he can fire on the Orion. That should be good enough. Should be good enough. I kind of want to move Behemoth Wait, first because of the uh, structural... Or not the structural, but the stability damage here. Um, hit the King Crab, try to take its torso pieces out, get rid of like an AC-20 or something like that, rather than going after the <laughs> Jaeger mech. All right, fine. Let's go in for the king crab over here. I'm trying to figure out if I want to pop vigilance. Because if I pop vigilance, I'll be moving before like everything with behemoth next turn, not just party elite. Decker could use some vigilance. Orders. Let's save it for Decker. All right, let's go up over here and attack at 95 damage in there. And we're not going to destroy anything. On the move. Going to cause damage. Good stuff. Oh, excellent stuff. I think I hit something good. All right, pilot injury. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. And we can move where? We can move up to here, or we can move up to here, right? I say we maybe move up to here. What do you got, Awesome? You got some scary stuff, actually. You got some scary stuff. But it's a risk I'm going to have to take. We might actually overheat. As we fire, we might actually overheat. This gives us a better vantage point for the future, though. A little bit of heat isn't gonna kill me. Come on, baby, come on. Good hits, good hits. Got a head hit in there. All right. In comes the Jaeger mech. Somehow we've survived still. Glitch needs to move. That got through my armor, Commander. Would you look at that, shooting and moving. Shooting and moving. I know someone who can do that. Commander? All right, glitch. Let's jump you back. Let's let's. Uh... Oh dear! Everywhere you're exposed, 
we go back to here, at least that cuts off direct fire, but that King Crab will get some. Get in over here. Gives us some degree of protection. Or we can get in up over here, at least giving us uh, cover. And then we can fire into, like, this Jaeger mech or the Orion or something with some LRMs. Oh, dear. Oh, this might... Nope. Yeah, nope. Let's just pull back to here. And hit the Orion with some LRMs. We're not going to be able to use the M lasers anyway, so yeah, let's pull a little bit further back. Sure, let's right, do it. Commander. Let's hope those uh, evasive pips and the, uh, the cover does the trick here. Orion, LRMs, please die. Right, Commander. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Alright. Just the enemy reinforcements now, which includes a King Crab that's about to punch me. Oh, baby. It's a lot of stability damage. Decker, you're up. I'm taking internal damage. You're up, baby, you're up. Alright, um, now if I actually Alpha Strike you. I'll overheat. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna pop vigilance though. I'm so scared for this awesome. And we're going to pop Vigilance to have the initiative advantage. And we're going to move in. We're going to punch. We're going to get some S lasers off. Cool. On the move. Let's go. Let's go rock'em, sock'em robots here. Bam. Good hit. Come on. S lasers work for me. Nah, not as well. But it's okay. It's lost guarded. But that's it's the bottom of the turn. There we go. We good. Amazing. Yikes. Amazing. Hard. All right, Party Elite, you're up. You need to, like, brace or something. We could sprint on over to here. I need to, like, close the... I need to do something. No jump jets is killing me right now. I want to, like, get some punches in or something. Evasive pips, at least, this way. So let's do that. Let's sprint on over. Let's try to cool down. And let's try and get into a position where we're either firing or we're punching. We're either firing or we're punching, right? We're gonna run down. We're gonna cool off a little bit. Good stuff. Oh, we didn't lose our leg. Jagermax pulling back. Need to drop this thing. Cooling off. I mean, I guess that's why it's not firing with all of its lasers and everything. All right, Behemoth, yeah, you're up. Time for a punch on the King Crab, I think. Pop Vigilance? Or do we get Decker to punch first? By. I'm worried that if it goes Decker, King Crab, Orion, or uh, Behemoth, Receiving. then Behemoth's gonna lose arms and uh, just have an overall bad time. I can pop Vigilance, help remove all the stability damage, and if we shoot at the King Crab, we'll overheat. We won't shut down, but that's a lot of damage waiting to happen. Alright, fine, fine, fine. So Behemoth Vigilance at point blank range here. The other option is to move and get some evasive pips, but I mean one evasive pip can make a big difference, I suppose. Let's do it for point blank so we're in punching range immediately. So vigilance, confirm that. Right? Fire away at the King Crab. Overheat ever so slightly is okay. We might lose an arm. We're, we're likely to lose this left arm for it. But, what, do I turn the M laser off here? Reduce my damage output? I suppose. Sure. And the next turn we can punch. CT needs to survive. He's gonna come in for the punch? No, he's gonna run like a coward. You cowardly, cowardly King Crab. How far can you get, though? Oh no! Far enough to hurt Glitch. Uh, uh, dang it, that hurt. You're okay, Glitch. Hey, you're okay. I lost a weapon. You're gonna make it through. Waiting Decker, you're up. And go into the King Crab, into its back. Unfortunately, I can't get on the right side of it. Oh, I can. All right, cool. I want to get that uh, torso piece. We'll expose our back a bit to this awesome, but I think it'll be worth it. The other option is to actually fire, but I don't. No, I'd have to rotate. I don't know if an Alpha Star. Ah, oh, we'd be. We'd be fine. 
be fine. I can get up over here, hit it with everything, cause a fair bit of damage. Definitely more than 120, right? If we go, let's see, 25 times 1, 2, 3, 75, 75 plus 60, 100, yep. So sure, point blank alpha strike into the side of the king crab. Expose our back to the awesome. Trying to exp yeah, I, yeah. Don't really have a choice. I guess we could jump for the evasive pips and we can do this. Eat us up a little bit, but I guess at least it's better. Right, that won't have access to us. Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Decker, be the hero. Burn that king crab, baby. <laughs> Maybe not for yourself, but you know, for us. For the rest of us, overheating is fine right here. I'm not going to shut down, though. Overheating is fine. Please don't destroy that CT. Engaging with target. Nice. Critical hit, Commander. Very nice. I just need to Heat topple damage. him over. Waiting for orders. Just need to topple him over. CT is so close to dead. Commander. No matter which way I come in from, I hit the I hit the CT. We're not gonna get it. not gonna get it. All I can do is jump to the side here, hope to hit his legs or something. God, god damn it. Should have turned off the lasers and just not done that much damage out. Firing on target. Well, destroyed. we almost got it. We almost got it. it sucks too, because Glitch is taking so much hurt. Alright, well, Behemoth, you're up. Um, can't really alpha strike right now. Party elite. Let's sprint you down, perhaps. Get you in a point blank range. Now, let's get you over to here. Shoot with something, I suppose. And then next turn, hopefully, we'll be able to close the gap on this Jaeger mech and uh, give it hell. Man, I'm so upset about that King Crab. I wanted it so very bad. So very bad. Oof, good hits. All right, I think we're good. The awesome. Let's try and get the awesome, I suppose. Ready for orders. Right, no reason not to try. All right, turn these off. I uh, definitely don't want to shut down. Overheat. I don't want to lose my arm. I could sprint to close the gap a bit. Move in. Because this thing's going to turn around and shoot at me, and I'm probably going to lose my arm anyway. That's my uh, that's my concern. Pop Vigilance after I move. Get myself safe. Uh, expose my right arm to it. Right, we can do that. We get close for the punch next turn. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Position confirmed. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. I love this. The, the, the heat um, dissipation. Looks great. All right, there we go. Fire away the awesome. It's guarded. It's gonna reduce our damage output. We can take the, the Jaeger mech down instead, right? Potentially remove it, or at least parts of it. Sure. We got close. Next turn we can go in and punch this awesome. Maybe we can get an awesome out of this one. Maybe. Glitch is up. I want Glitch firing on the awesome. Because uh, Party Elite can take care of that Jaeger mech. Let's get the LRM 15 plus plus, get that stability damage happening. Hopefully let's not lose this torso piece. Fire away. Come on. Okay. Good hits, good hits. In comes the awesome for the Orion. I think it's gonna try and punch. It's got a oh, there goes the arm. Wow. Internal structure damage. We like just barely held on to that arm there. Decker, you're up. You uh, you're definitely gonna burn up, so we're gonna just move in and punch this Jaeger mech. Ignore his guarded, get those S lasers in there, cool off a little bit. Let's go in from where? Sure, let's go in from the front. We're probably gonna punch that CT and completely wreck it. Well, let's stay close to the awesome here. Let's go. Let's go. Pull off a little bit. Bam. Okay. 
Or miss the torso piece, I suppose. Interesting call to let it stay alive. But hey, at least that gives Party Elite something to do. Going for a punch over here again. Right? Yeah, might as well. Cool off a little bit. We need all of those missiles to try and take this awesome. Engaging physical attack. Oh, there it is. Alright. Alright, baby. Minute to win it. A minute to get that goddamn awesome. That's what I'm in it for. Alright, Behemoth. You gonna turn around and, and literally go rock'em sock'em? Is that... <laughs> I guess that's the plan. We're gonna lose an arm at some point. It's a matter of when. Bam! Alright. Glitch, you're up. Get those LRMs firing away. Safe distance. Bam. Let's go. Heat sink destroyed. All right, sure. That's a critical hit. When it comes, there goes our arm. Oh, and our torso piece. So Behemoth's taking an injury. Weapon system down. Some of the camera work sometimes still not not really on point. Commander. All right, Decker. Time to go in and save your friend. Time to go in and save your friend. Wonder if you want to jump in instead, get close enough to get everything in there, and then move into melee. Yeah, I mean, that just makes sense. That really just makes sense. So we're going to move up in. Can we Vigilance? We can. Let's get you the drop on the awesome. Hit him with everything. A little bit of overheating. Again, not the end of the world. There we go. Roger. Heat damage. Damn it. There's something consistent. It's the heat damage I take. All right, Party Elite, you're up. We're going to move you up to here, fire in from the side. And it's too bad he's got guarded, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Fire into him. That's what. All right, and we go. All these LRMs overheat ever so slightly. Not the end of the world. Oh, we got a head hit in there, so that should be a pilot injury. Yes. One step closer. Everyone's burning up. It's for a good cause. It's for a good cause. Decker, what's up? Why can't you... Why can't you? Alright, Glitch. I guess you get the first strike here. 15 plus plus. Let's fire away. Ignore's guarded. Thank you very much. Here we go. Okay. Decker is going to have to uh, you. DFA, I guess. Oh, it's because we're on a building, damn it. It's because we're on a building. Now, this will actually... Will it take out one of my legs? It might take out both of my legs. I don't want to do that. That sucks. Well, let's try and take this torso piece out. Coming from this... I have to come in from the back. To ignore guarded... That really sucks. So we can't fire with everything. Apply. Maybe we can fire with the LRMs at the very least. And the S lasers. Get a precision strike in here. I want to hit a torso piece. Not the CT, thank you. Uh, let's turn off the big, big boys here, please. Yeah. It's a little bit of overheating, I don't mind. Even a lot of bit of overheating, I don't mind. Let's go. Locked on. Rear armor. Ooh. Okay. My heat sinks can't vent fast enough. You're fine. Take you're fine. Damage. Now being this about to lose something. Oh no, he's gonna come towards the awesome here. What are you doing? Oh, that's what you're doing. Oh man, this is getting very dicey. Internal structure damage. Okay, Behemoth can close the gap, so there's that. Go in here, punch over here. What is this? This is the right torso piece. Okay, so I want to come in here. I don't want to punch it in the back. I haven't lost the AC20++. That's the one thing I'm, I guess, really terrified of losing. Can I actually... Oh, I can shoot instead. Wish I'd saved that precision strike. Let's hope not to hit that CT. Come on, baby. Affirmative. 
It's not what I meant when I said don't hit that CT. Not really what I had in mind, but hey. <laughs> you do you. You do you. Uh, we could just fire from where we are. Safe to do that. We're actually not going to get a full strikeout. We might as well move in closer just so we're in melee range sooner. Let's go. I am burning up in here. But we knew this. We knew this going in that we're coming in with a hot lance. Don't want to shut down. Alright. A little bit of overheating. Nice, nice. Not using this LRM right now, but hey, I'll take it. Alright. Glitch. You're up first. Or... Good to go. Hmm. The precision strike with behemoth. No, no, no. Fine. Glitch, you're up first. I'm gonna attack from all the way over here. See what that other M15 plus plus does first. Then we'll make a call with uh, with behemoth. There's the torso piece. A little worried about that. Critical hit. How do we work that head? I'm really tempted, actually, to precision strike and try to get that head. Funnily enough, we can't do the torso pieces. We can try the leg. I don't want to leg the mech. But if I go for the head, it's a greater chance to hit that CT. Right, if I go for the leg, the less it's lesser chance. We could wipe that leg clean off. Let's go for the leg. Nice! Come on, fall down. Fall for me. Target's taking a critical hit. Oh. And I think he's got one more injury in him. Don't want to leg you. Uh, he's going to get up. Like, what do we do? How do I... How do I ensure that I get a torso piece as opposed to with a CT, right? Like... My internals are taking a beating. It's going to be a punch. I can try to go behind him. Punch from behind. I get those S lasers from behind. Like a punch from, a, from an awesome is going to completely destroy him. Wish I had more mobility here. I could just go in with the three S lasers, 60 damage. Is that really the length I'm willing to go for this thing? Get behind and fire on this left rear torso piece instead. Or hope the damage goes there. Let's try it. I want this awesome. So let's try it. Can't believe I'm doing this. The LRMs as well. We shouldn't be able to get through the armor back here. I'm hoping to cause some stability damage with it. Putting one in the back. Came close. Ammo destroyed. That should cause Watch a pilot injury. Level. No. I thought ammo destruction causes. All right. Well, it is what it is. We tried our best. There's there's no way to avoid it. I mean, we could try precision striking, and going for the head here. But it's with missiles, so that's not gonna work. I could reserve. Wait until we get Commander. the precision strike with the AC-20. And hope that this works. Aye, aye. No way! What? Tango. That's awesome! Alright! That's the last of them, Commander. Let's dust off and go home. I just realized that pun was not intentional. I didn't say awesome that time as like a reference or anything. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, blew that head clean off. I'm a little upset still about that king crab, but we'll get some king crab parts, I guess. Hopefully, maybe. Alright, let's hit next on that one. Yeah, everybody needs repairs. Some people need some new equipment. We can get another awesome. Or do I get the part of a king crab? What's the gamble I want to take, right? Like, do I go ahead and get three pieces of an awesome, get a full awesome, sell it for some money? Or do I get one part of a king crab and hope that we go up against more king crabs in the near future? And then hope that, by luck, I get one last piece of an awesome. Damn. It's not an easy call.
So many heat sinks. I don't want heat sinks. That's probably what I'm going to end up getting. Heat sinks and ammo. <laughs> the awesome's not the best mech. I want a king grab so bad. All right, fine. You know what? I'm going to do this, guys. I'm going to do this. Ooh, or. But work towards another Orion as well. Nah. Nah, let's do this. And let's hope that the dice gods wish to bless us on this day. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Every once in a while, the risks are totally worth taking. Oh, got ourselves another awesome. We got a third of a king crab. That's making me hungry for, for king crab, actually. Man, oh my god, that mission. For four skull mission, I think we did pretty well. We did pretty well. That could have gone terribly at any moment. We could have lost glitch very easily. And I'm so glad I took care of those vehicles nice and early. Alright, I finalized the details of our trip to our true Commander Sulla. With luck, the map Dr. Murad discovered will lead us straight to Castle Nautilus. The contract is ready for review in the command center. So we are ready for that uh, next story mission. That's Priority mission. Right, got that AT ready, to, AT ready to go. Let's maybe put that Wolverine away or something. Maybe the Centurion goes away. Oh, Firestarter, is it time to retire you? Ah, oh, it doesn't feel good doing that. Let's put the Centurion away. That hasn't seen action in a long time. Sweet deal. Sweet deal. Let's take a look at the store here real quick. Let's maybe sell our, uh, a couple of our mechs. We, we got a mech or two we can get rid of. I'm keeping that blackjack. Get rid of the, uh, enforcer. Definitely over the enforcer. I think we barely used it even. That's gone. Getting me close to three. And then what I can do to just balance some of our, uh, money out is sell a bunch of, like, junk here and there. Like, do we really need 14 SRM4s? I really don't think so. Right, boom. We're almost at three. Uh, do I really need 33 jump jets? I sincerely don't think so. All right, we're almost there. Oh, I have the leg mod. I should get that leg mod. Not that I DFA. Uh, so I could sell that leg mod, actually. Uh, and I could also sell some SRM ammo. Do we really need 11? No, of course not. But anyway, you, you get what I mean. We're, we're fine for money. We've got three months of a runway. We've got uh, our next main contract here coming up. Grave robbing. It's only three skulls. Psh, you're nothing. Oh, or we can go in for incomplete intelligence. It's another four skull. Destroy base highlands. Islands, sorry. That could be fun. We're in the location. Though we have a lot of people injured. And a lot of mechs that need repairing. Okay, we'll see. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to see if getting all the repair work done happens quickly enough to avoid the next financial report. 17 days, right? No, no, the Shadowhawk. We should probably put the Shadowhawk in storage. The Orion and the Catapult both need refitting. We lost that LRM 10++. That's a little upsetting. All right, what do we have here? LRM 10++. You're going to be replaced by an LRM 10+. And over here, we had an M laser. Yeah, see, the M lasers are starting to feel useless. I don't think we're going to go in with lasers. I think what we're going to do instead is... Well, what else do I do? I, I guess I could do a PPC. Immediately taking this overweight. Well, let's keep it what it was before. M laser. Jump jet. Like, the thinking was... Oh, I don't have the right type of jump jet anymore. Damn. Damn. Well, let's get some LRM ammo in here. And we can buy Jump Jet H. Where are we? Jump Jet H. I guess we'll need... Well, I think we just need one. Okay. There we go. And LRM ammo, two batches. In goes another one. Cool. That's everything here. We need to repair you. And let's make sure everything's repaired. Confirm that. Seven days. Sorry, no add okay, up obviously and the orion here has lost a lot okay we didn't lose anything we didn't every, everyone's alive and that's what matters damn it, i didn't want to that's why i don't click repair all i like seeing exactly how things are laid out all right so two S an srm6 and an srm4 oh that's tempting srm6 srm4 
And we got some ammo. Two two pounds. Two pounds. Two tons. Two pounds of FSR ammo. <laughs> How much ammo do you think that is? Oh, I got the M laser over here. Alright. It's been working for us so far. I see no reason to change it. Wouldn't mind maybe getting some more heat sinks on here. Reduce some of the leg armor and get some more heat sinks on here. You know what? Maybe. A lot of armor reduction for a little bit of heat reduction. Wow. Wow. All that for one heat sink and how much of a difference will it actually make? Like, not enough. Not enough. I need my arms. I need my legs. I don't want to get legged for... Like, so what if you can reduce heat? We can, we can go into melee. I'm comfortable with that. Confirm that. It's 10 days. On it. mm. I'll let you know when that's done. Let's see. So, we want that awesome ready to go. As quickly as possible. We want the... Kintaro. We want the Catapult and the Orion. And that'll take us till when? Oh, wow, yeah, no, we got the financial report first, so maybe we move towards that main mission. Maybe. Or, we have this other awesome that we could use, right? Uh, LRM-15, LRM-15, L-Laser, S-Laser. Because what I'm thinking is, we could go in with... Rather than getting this awesome all the way up here, maybe if we put it after the Orion. Then we'll be ready to roll out still right after the financial report. So, okay, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Let's get that awesome up top. I guess we're going for that main mission next time on... Battletech. <laughs> We're going to call it a session here. We've gone over that hour mark. It was a pretty good one, I think. Uh, it took a lot of damage. I, I, there's definitely some things I could have done a little bit better there, but overall, I'm satisfied with our situation. Unfortunately, Behemoth is out for 13 days and Glitch is out for 27, but... We're going in towards a story mission, a priority mission next time. Uh, unless you guys in the comments insist we do incomplete intelligence. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to overpower. It's been mentioned in the comments and in Discord as well. I don't want to overpower the priority missions because that makes them boring. So maybe we go in for that priority mission next time. Thank you all as always for watching. I hope you had a good time. If you have had a good time, make sure you drop a like and a comment to let me know. And as always, a massive thanks to all of my patrons for supporting this channel on a month-to-month -month basis, keeping it alive and running smoothly. It makes a huge difference, and I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and cheers.